Hello and thank you very much for taking the time to attend our webinar today on how you can build an exceptional business credit profile and score. Um, this is going to be a great webinar today. There's a lot of information we're going to cover, but try to keep it short. But by the end of this webinar, we want you to understand what business credit is, what a business credit profile is, what makes a good business credit profile. And we want you to understand how to build an exceptional business credit profile and credit score. Now, you might have attended another one of our webinars where we go over some of the components of the business credit score, and we'll go over some of those things in this webinar too. We want you to clearly understand exactly how the business credit scores work but the purpose of this webinar is to teach you how the business credit scores and profile works and teach you how you can build an exceptional personal credit profile or business credit profile and score to start obtaining massive amounts of money in your business name with no personal liability so let's go ahead and get started what is business credit well business credit is credit you can obtain for your business this credit is very similar to personal credit and is available with many of the same merchants including Home Depot, Staples, Walmart, Visa, MasterCard, and more. But instead of receiving credit and getting a credit card in your personal name, with business credit you obtain credit and get the card in the business name. Okay, now I'm actually going to take a, a look back here at this slide. So what business credit really is is it's just credit in your business name you're, you're probably familiar with your personal credit and this is credit that you're accumulating on your on a personal level but at the same time business credit is credit you get for the business so let's say you get a Home Depot credit card or a Visa or a MasterCard in the business name alone not in your name no personal signature from you or personal liability just in your name that's what business credit is credit it, it, business credit is credit in your business name only it's not in your personal name it's just in the name of the benefit or in the business okay so instead of receiving a credit card in your personal name this comes in the name of the business and the credit is in the business name and the liability is in the business name okay so what are the benefits well there's no personal credit check required you can easily obtain over 50,000 at approvals in less than six months. There's no personal guarantee required. And individual account approval amounts are higher on average than personal credit. These are a few of the many benefits of, of business credit. One, there is no personal credit check required. Well, that's phenomenal because a lot of business owners or potential business owners have had their personal credit wrecked over the last few years with the change in the economy. So with business credit, you can start building massive amounts of credit in your business name with no personal credit check. They don't even look at your personal credit. So the good thing there is you could come in and still get a lot of credit and build a lot of credit in your business name even if you have tarnished or damaged personal credit. Um, the second benefit, you can easily obtain over 50,000 in approvals in less than six months. Well, realistically, you can have an excellent business credit score in about 60 days. That's important possible in the personal credit world. But in the business world, you can have an excellent business credit score in 60 days. And 60 days, 90 days, you're getting approved for real credit in your business name. Again, regardless of your personal credit quality. And in, within six months, and in a lot of cases, within even three to four months, you could build over $50,000 in real credit uh, for the business. Now, that's that's tough to do. On the personal side, most people could not go out and build $50,000 of credit in three to six months. It's very tough to do. But in the business credit world, you could do that. You could come in even with damaged personal credit and still come in and get approved for over $50,000 in real credit in three to six months time frame. Um, another benefit is that there's no personal guarantee required. Okay. As a business owner, or maybe you're looking to start a business, everybody wants your guarantee. I mean, when you sign a lease, when you get a credit card, when you do anything, they don't just want to do it in the business name. They want you to sign. They want your guarantee. And that means you're guaranteeing that if anything ever happens and that account defaults, you're going to be personally liable for that debt. That's what you're guaranteeing, okay? Well, you don't want that. We, what you want to do is be able to build biz or credit in your business name without that personal liability. Why? Because it's for the business. This is credit you're using for the business. You're building in the business name. The last thing you want is personal liability for the business debt. So one of the benefits of business credit is there is no personal guarantee required, which means no personal liability. Uh, another benefit is individual account approval amounts are higher on average than personal credit. 
In a lot of cases with business credit, you see standard approvals at $10,000 or higher. Um, that's not common in the personal credit world, right? When you start getting your first personal credit cards, they're usually $250 to $500 limits. Well, in the business world, your, you know, your credit cards you're going to start building um, pretty early on are going to be $10,000 type limit accounts or higher. Those limits are much higher than anything you could accumulate on the personal end. So you could just build a lot of business credit a lot faster than you ever could doing so on the personal credit. So how does it really work? Well, business credit bases your approval on your business credit score and business credit profile. Okay, That's what's important. And a lot of people come in and say, well, I, I can't believe it. I mean, how can I get credit with no with bad personal credit? How can I get credit without a personal credit check? Well, remember, this isn't about you. This is about your business. This is credit for your business. And if you do the right things and you have a good business credit score, score and a business credit profile, then your business credit profile and score will be used to get you approvals in the future, not your personal. Okay, The first thing you need to do is establish a good business credit profile and score, but once this is established, you can use that for borrowing purposes for your business, not your personal. Okay, Your personal credit profile is not reviewed as your business profile is used to determine approval. So here's how it's possible. They're looking at your business credit report, not your personal. It's that simple. You know, they don't want to look at your personal if your business is good. If you've shown that you have a business, that you have business debts, that you pay them back as agreed, that's what they're concerned with. They're lending you money for the business, not for you personally. So as long as your business has a good profile and score, they'll lend you the money regardless of personal. Okay, so your business is approved for credit, not you personally. That's why there's no personal guarantee required. Okay, now what is a personal guarantee? Well, most business owners currently use credit with a PG, and a PG is what we call short for a personal guarantee, meaning in case of default, the creditor can pursue the personal home, bank accounts, investments, and file judgments against personal assets. Okay, that's what a personal guarantee means. It's no different than you going out and getting credit in your personal name because you're personally liable for it. If you default on a business debt, they're going to come after your personal assets if you have a personal guarantee. If you default on a personal consumer debt, they're going to come after your personal assets. So if you have a guarantee, there's really no different than a consumer credit, right? Because if you default, they come after your personal assets. Well, the benefit of business credit is you could do it with no PG or no personal guarantee. This means it's credit only in the business name. So if you ever default on it, they can only come after the business. They can't come after your personal. That means your bank accounts, your investments, your home is all safe. They can't pursue you. Okay, That means the business takes the risk, not you personally. So again, it keeps your personal finances and your family safe and secure and separate from your business obligations. Okay, Another benefit is there's no personal credit check. I mean, you can be approved for well over 50000 in business credit even if you have damaged personal credit. Um, even if you have good personal credit, Getting a business credit profile allows you to double your borrowing power. Okay, now you have a personal credit profile and you have a business so you can borrow double as much because you have two credit profiles. So if you have excellent personal credit, you really still want to consider building business credit. Because again, for you, if you have good credit, the main benefit of business credit is that there is no personal guarantee, there is no personal liability. And there's the million dollar question, right? Why don't more business owners know about business credit? I mean, I'm going on and on about how great it is, but yet no, not a lot of people have it. I mean, I talk to people that have been in business for 20 years and don't have any business credit accumulated. Well, you know, entrepreneur.com hits on that point, and they report that 90% of business owners know nothing about business credit. And that's a large reason why most business owners don't use it, because they don't know about it. And one of the main reasons is that creditors want you to attach your personal liability to reduce their risk. Makes sense, right? Okay, so you're not going to walk into a store and see a sign that says sign up now with no personal liability, right? Think about it like this. If Home Depot is going to give you a credit card and you're willing to put your social security number on the application and give your personal guarantee, then why would it ever make sense for Home Depot to allow you to have credit or to give you credit without the personal guarantee, right? I mean, it doesn't make any sense from their standpoint. Business credit's phenomenal, but one of the reasons you don't know about it is because 
creditors don't promote it. If you really think about it, how many times have you ever walked into Lowe's or Home Depot or Staples or any of these stores and seen them advertise applications for credit? You see it all the time, right? They promote their credit card, 0%, do this, do that. But how often do you ever see those stores promote commercial credit? How often do you ever walk in and see an advertisement for, hey, sign up, there's no personal guarantee required? You don't see those signs. The reason, again, is because why would they give you an account with no personal liability if you're willing to sign on the dotted line and give up your liability? It's hidden. It's secret. Well, most merchants do offer business credit, but most consumers and most business owners don't know where to get it. They don't know how to get it. They don't know who will approve them. Because of that, that is where most people don't know about it at all. Okay, The stores just don't promote it like they do consumer credit. Now, most merchants offer business credit, but again, they don't promote it or advertise it. And again, think about this. You walk into a store, right, and, and, and you, you use your debit card. What do they do? Well, they offer you, hey, well, you want 20% savings if you sign up for our credit card. Think about it. You get these offers and solicitations all the time. But again, how often have you ever been solicited for a business debt that advertises that you don't have the personal liability? Well, none of them because there's no benefit to them to advertise that. But even because they don't advertise it, still, most merchants do offer business credit. And again, they're going to ask you for the social security number. If you give it to them, then they're happy. Okay, But in a lot of cases, you can apply for the same credit for these companies in the business name without the personal liability if you have the insider information. Okay, It is available. And most merchants do offer business credit, even though they don't promote it. Chevron, Staples, Home Depot, Lowe's, Office Wax. Office Max, Walmart are just a few of many that offer business credit. I'll give you some more. Sinclair Gas, BP, Radio Shack, okay, Costco, um, Sam's Club. These are accounts, BP, uh, these are accounts that you can come in and get ten thousand dollar credit cards with and higher. Plus, not only just merchants, not only just store credit, you can also get approved for Visa's MasterCard with $10,000 limits or higher in the business name. The important thing to know is most stores that you go to on a regular basis will offer business credit. You just don't know about it. They've never solicited you for it, but they do offer it. And as a business owner, most of the stores that you're going to frequent, that you need for office supplies and office expansion and all these things, they're going to offer business business credit if you know how to get them to approve you for that actual business credit. So how do you easily qualify? Well, new businesses do qualify for business credit. This is important. You don't need to be in business for years and year, year, years and years and years to qualify. Even new businesses will qualify for business credit. Uh, you're going to get approved for greater amounts of business credit if you've been in business for more than two years. And that seems to be the, the magic number. You know, Really, to qualify for business credit, they want you to be in business for a couple years. If you've been in business two years, almost all merchants will approve you. If you've been in business less than two years, some merchants will approve you, but not all. Okay, you must have a business credit profile and score established. Okay, in order for merchants to give you credit, they're going to want to see that you have some kind of credit and some kind of credit profile established. And a lot of these merchants want to see five or more open vendor accounts on your business credit report. So for you to walk into Home Depot, let's say, or get a $10,000 visa, in order for that to happen, they're going to check your business credit report. They're going to want to see about five trade lines showing some depth. They're also going to want to see you have a good business credit score established, okay, about 80 or higher, a good a, a paid X or IntelliScore, score, a good business credit score 80 or higher is what they want to see. So if you've been in business, even if you just opened, you're going to qualify. If you've been in business two years, you'll qualify for more. And as long as you have a business credit profile with about five accounts and a score of about 80 or higher, then you're going to qualify. Um, let's talk about personal credit versus business credit. You know, most people are familiar with their personal credit scores ranging from 350 to 850 points. Okay, most people are not familiar with the components of their personal credit score. Personal credit's made up of five components: payment history, available credit, length of credit history, inquiries, and credit mix. Okay? These are the components of the personal credit score. There's five components, um, and it really takes years of well-disciplined borrowing to get a good personal score. 
because you have to worry about things like your length of credit history and your payment history, okay? Your available credit. All these things factor in, so it really takes years of well-disciplined borrowing for you to establish an excellent score. Business credit scores are very different, though, because they're only based on one factor. You know, have you paid your bills over the last 12 months? If you pay your bills as agreed, you instantly are going to have an excellent credit score of 80 or higher. Um, in the business credit scoring world, the scores usually range from 0 to 100, so 80 or higher is definitely a good score, the equivalent of maybe a 740 credit score higher in the personal world. And all 80 means is that you paid your bill on time. So if you were a little late, your score might reflect a 70, or if you're really late, you might have a 50 score. Okay. So business credit scores, not based on five factors. They're not complicated at all. All it is is how have you paid your bills over the last 12 months. If you pay your bill on time every month, you'll have an 80. If you pay the bill a little early every month, you'd have a 90. If you pay your bills really early every month, you'd have a 100 score. Okay. But on the opposite end, if you pay it too Two weeks late, you'd have a 70. If you pay your bills three weeks late, you'd have a 60. And four weeks late, you'd have a 50 and so on and so on. So all that number in the business credit world means is do you pay your bills on time, early or late, and how early or late do you pay will determine your actual score. Okay, so all that's required for an excellent business credit score is you only need one account on your credit report as paid as agreed. Even one account paid as agreed will instantly give you a good credit score of 80 or higher. Remember, all that means is that you paid the bill as agreed. So if you continue to pay your accounts on time or early, your scores are going to increase above 80 towards the high of 100. Uh, but even with an 80 score, most merchants will approve you for credit. Remember, 80 means you paid as agreed. That's all creditors care about. So if you have an 80 score, meaning you pay your bills as agreed, they're going to give you credit. They don't care if you have a 90 or 100. They don't really care if you pay them a week to two weeks early. They just want to make sure you pay them as agreed. So as long as you have an 80 score or higher, you're going to get approved for most uh, business credit. Now, lenders are going to want to see that you have about one to three vendor trade accounts reporting before they approve you. Okay, Vendor accounts are creditors who extend you credit on short terms then report the account to the business credit reporting agencies. And these vendors will usually approve you for short term credit on terms such as like net 30. And then even if you buy $5 of, of credit using that credit and they report to the business credit reporting agencies, your new excellence business score will be established. Okay, so vendor credit. We'll stop here and talk about vendors. Vendors are, are the gatekeepers. They're the secret. The reason you can't walk into Home Depot right now and get approved for a $10,000 credit score is you don't have a business credit score or profile established. Well, in order to do that, and that kind of is the catch-22. I mean, how do I get approved for credit if I have to have credit to get credit? right? Catch 22. Well, the answer is vendor credit. You use vendors to get credit. Now, these aren't revolving credit cards. These are credit on terms like net 30. So here's an example. You go into Radio Shack and you get set up with a vendor credit account. Now, what that means is it means they're going to give you a credit account with a net 30 term, which means whatever you buy from them on using your credit account, you have to pay them back within 30 days. Net 30. That's what that means. So let's say you go and you buy five Five dollars worth of batteries in Radio Shack using your credit. Then a week later, you pay off that five dollars. Well, what happens is Radio Shack then reports it to Dun and Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax. And the minute that account is reported as paid as agreed, you instantly have an 80 credit score. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute. I always spent $5 in credit. How can I have an excellent business credit score? Remember, business credit's not based on all these complicated factors. It's only based on how you pay your bills. So as long as you have a credit account, you paid it as agreed, and, they, and that company reports to the business credit reporting agencies, then you will instantly have an excellent score. And to come in and build your score higher and to build more depth and more trade lines, all you need to do is get more and more vendor accounts, about three to five five okay come in you use them a little you pay them back as agreed you have an excellent business credit score and then you have a credit profile with a good score with many accounts paid as agreed then you're going to start qualifying for business credit so once you're approved and you use those few vendor accounts and they report to the business credit reporting agencies then you're going to start getting approved for business credit with most lenders now again most merchants only require only merchants are you only looking for an 80 score or higher and one to three 
vendor accounts reporting. So when you have these accounts open and you pay them as agreed, you'll automatically have the 80 score and qualify for business credit. So all you have to do is focus on getting to one to three vendor accounts. Once you get these, the score will come with it. Then you will have a profile that they look for to approve you for actual business credit. Now the good news is, is as an entrepreneur.com reported, you know, 90% of business owners don't know anything about business credit. So that's very good news for you because that means billions of dollars in business funds are still available because most owners don't know about them. And that's the reality. I mean, there's a lot of credit available in the business world because most people don't know about it. And that's really good for you because as long as 9 out of 10 people know nothing about it, it leaves more and more money there for you to come in and get approved for. Okay. Um, and again, that's, you know, the challenge though that goes with it is without proper guidance, it's difficult to build a business credit profile and start getting approved for business credit. And that's because locating the vendors who report to the credit reporting agencies is difficult to do. This is one of the hardest parts of building business credit is you don't know where the vendors are that you can get report approved with who will report and give you a good business credit score. Okay. Another part of the challenge is once you do locate the vendors, you need to find a way to monitor your business credit reports as you build that business credit profile. And so since most merchants don't advertise their programs, it's also tough to know who offers business credit and what their qualifying criteria is. Okay, so for example, let's use Home Depot. You know, Home Depot might require that you have five trade lines, an 80 paid X score, and a $10,000 high credit limit account on your report. Well, if you don't know that, then you're not going to get approved, right? You're going to apply, maybe you don't meet those criteria, and you're not going to get approved. That's one of the hardest things about business credit. First of all, who offers it? You know, if they don't promote it, they don't advertise it, how do you know Costco has a business credit program? How do you know what it takes to get approved for their business credit program? Well, the answer is you don't. You could go to Costco and say, do you have this? And they'll say, yes, we do. And they'll give you an application. But from that point on, you don't know if you're going to meet the criteria and you don't know how to complete the application to make sure you get approved with no personal liability. Those are some of the challenges you're going to face. Um, and those are some of the main reasons that business owners don't have access to business credit. The truth is they don't know where to go for vendors to get an initial business credit profile and score. And once they have that, they don't have any clue how to get approved for or who, which merchants to apply for to get the actual business credit. Okay. Uh, now you can build a strong business credit profile and score, but again, you know, locating the vendors, the business credit reports, and merchants who approve you are, are tough to do. Um, and you'll need to spend time, in, and this is going to take you some time to research all these aspects so you can actually start getting approved for business credit. Now we do have another solution for you, uh, and it's called the business funding suite. Now through a business funding suite, you can quickly build a positive business credit profile and score and access hundreds hundreds of merchants and vendors. That's what the business funding suite does. You know, we have access to a funding suite which just simplifies all this for you. Um, it teaches you exactly and helps you meet the criteria that you're going to need to meet before you apply, such as having a 411 listing and, and having a, a website and a physical address. Um, it, it's going to help you monitor your business credit reports and scores and give you access to hundreds of merchants and vendors. So in a few, step, a few simple initial steps, you know, with us and through this funding suite, you're going to ensure that you have the foundation where you'll be approved. And, and through your actual funding suite, you have a, a credit and cash portal where you can actually monitor your Experian, Equifax, and Dun and & Bradstreet reports um, and scores right through the system live. Okay, so what's important to note here is this. The challenges of business credit as we discussed is that you don't know where to go to get vendor accounts, you don't know what their criteria is, you don't know which merchants offer credit, you don't know what their criteria is, you can't monitor your business credit reports. The funding suite solves all those problems. Uh, the first thing we do is we walk you through a couple steps and make sure you meet the criteria that they're looking for before you even apply. Okay, makes sense, right? We're going to tell you what the criteria is, help you meet the criteria before you even apply. Then, in real time, you can monitor your business credit reports with Experian, Dun & Bradstreet, and Equifax right through the system. Now, this is important because this is the only system on the planet that the business credit reporting agencies like Equifax, Experian, and Dun & Bradstreet live data stream their data into, which means outside of going to them and getting your reports from them directly, this is the only 
other place on the planet Earth that they live data stream their reported information. So it goes to show you the credibility of the system and it also makes it very easy for you because as you're building vendor credit, as you're building business credit, in real time you have real time access to your business credit reports. Okay, the funding suite also has the largest supply of vendors and merchants that you'll find else anywhere in the world. Now that's very important because again, one of the other main problems you have is where do you go? Which vendors will approve you? Which business credit sources merchants will approve you? Well, we give you the largest supply making it easy right because before the hardest problem is going through and saying well where, where do i go to get credit well now you've got hundreds of sources and it's just as easy as going in and saying okay i want this ten thousand dollar mastercard here's the requirements i meet the requirements here's how to apply i apply and get approved i, I want another ten thousand dollar credit card oh look here's another ten thousand dollar credit card you're able to come in you're able to find all this credit that you want know you meet the criteria before you apply and then go in and get approved okay so so this allows you to choose the best vendors to get started, read all the program details, and know exactly how to apply and get approved. Then you can monitor those trade lines right through the interface and in real time see your business credit reports changing. And once you have those trade lines reported with the vendors, then you come in and you can access most of the major merchants who will offer you actual business credit. Okay, so there's actually over 400 financing sources available through the funding suite um, for actual funding. And each merchant's exact criteria is listed so you'll know you'll be approved before you even apply. Staples, Home Depot, Lowe's, Office Max, Walmart, Chevron, and hundreds more merchants are available. Remember in business credit, there's really two different types. There's store credit. This is credit you can use in a company store like Staples, Home Depot, Office Max. Um, there's also places like Costco, BP, Racetrack. Just about any kind of credit that you could want from office supplies to gas and fuel to actual MasterCards and Visas are available through the funding suite. But the first kind of credit is store credit, Staples, Home Depot, Costco. The second kind of credit is VAT MasterCard Visa. This is stuff you could use anywhere. Amexes, American Expresses, MasterCards, Visas, you could use in any store. Okay, All of that you're going to have access to through your actual funding suite. And what's nice about this is that we explain to you what the, the, the detail about what products they sell who they report to, which business credit reporting agencies they report to, and we give you the inside information on exactly what it takes to get approved. Okay, so here you go. We're even giving you a password here to get approved. Uh, and, and we're telling you it takes 30 to 60 days for the trade line to show up on your credit report. And we're talking to you about exactly what to do to get approved and exactly what requirements are. So in every different type of vendor and merchant account, we give you an explanation of what they do, who they report to, and how to get approved and what kind of terms. So that way you can come in and get approved for all the credit that you want. It's at your fingertips. The only uh, restriction on how much credit credit you get is how much credit you apply for. Okay, um, and again, all most merchant credit is is revolving terms. These are regular credit cards that are revolving. Only vendor accounts are usually net thirty. Okay, business credit again. Also, another benefit, you know, through the funding suite is that business credit is only one of over twenty funding options available. It's we actually now have, now have over thirty funding products available, including SBA loans, unsecured credit lines, equipment financing, merchant advances, account receivable, and purchase order financing business revenue lending, merchant credit, and even private equity and venture capital funds are available. Okay, So the benefit of the funding suite is that you can come in. It will help you meet the criteria before you apply for business credit, give you access to the vendors, you, let you monitor your business credit reports, and then you start building actual business credit. On top of all the business credit you have access to, you also have access to about 30 total other funding products, some of which have no credit score requirements, and a lot of which you're going to qualify for with no personal guarantee once you build the business credit profile and score. So get approved for business credit today. I mean, over 50% of businesses fail in America, and a lot of it is lack to due to lack of funds. Okay, and I say that because you know most, almost every single Fortune 500 company that's in the United States uses funding and business credit. They use one of these types of funding and business credit that's available through our funding suite. Again, they're Fortune 500 companies. It's not that they need it. It's that they understand the, le that the power of leveraging that money, of using this kind of credit.
credit to, to, to expand your business instead of the profits to expand the business. And that leaves more money in the business bank account and, and a better, healthier company. So again, it's not that you need this credit. It's not that you need funding. Most Fortune 500 companies have access to it because it's leverage. It's something that will help you grow and expand your business. So, you know, whether you're looking into our funding suite or start building your own, really make sure that you start building business credit today. You know, get access to the credit you need before you need it. One of the biggest mistakes we see business owners make, don't wait till you need money to go get money. Line up the money before you need it so that way when you need it and you have a slow month, it's not a big deal because you have $50,000 in credit backing you up. And in the process, you're going to build a business credit profile on top of your personal credit profile, which doubles your borrowing power. And most importantly, you know, you could build business credit in the business name so you have no personal guarantee required and it keeps your family's finances safe and secure. So I hope you enjoyed this webinar today of how to build an exceptional business credit profile and score. We really dug right in, right? We talked a little bit about how the business credit score works. We talked about what kind of trade lines, how many number of trade lines they're looking for to approve you for business credit. We talked about the process of getting approved for vendor credit first, monitoring your report, seeing those trade lines added, and then going in and approving and applying for business credit. We discussed some of the challenges that you're definitely going to run into with building business credit on your own, and that you're going to need to do some research and dedicate a little time to overcoming some of those challenges. Or another option for you is the business funding suite, which we talked about on this webinar webinar too, which overcomes all those challenges for you. Um, it comes in, it gives you access to the vendors, it makes sure you meet the criteria before you even apply, it lets you in real time monitor your business credit report so you can see the trade lines being built and the score going up. Um, and you can also come in and access the largest supply of vendors and business credit sources anywhere. So it makes it very easy for you to come in and get $10,000 uh, business credit cards at most of the stores that you do business with anyway ways and also get $10,000 credit cards with Master, MasterCard, Visa, American Express, credit cards you could use anywhere. So whether you are looking into our funding suite, you could definitely reach out to us and get in touch with us about our funding suite or whether you're building and you're going to go at this alone and start trying to build your own business credit profile and scores, regardless of what you choose to do, get started today. Don't wait on this. You really want to start working on building your excellent business credit profile and score. Um, you could easily get $250,000 or higher built in business credit. We have clients that buy apartment complexes using business credit. So the sky is the limit on what you can obtain and every business can benefit from fifty dollars to $250,000 of credit for their business. I mean, it's going to make it easier for you to grow and expand your business with access that kind of access to money. Uh, and again, that, that kind of money you can get with no personal credit check and no personal guarantee. So just more business benefits on why it's really important for you to investigate, look into business credit profiles, and start building those business credit scores right away. Um, again, thank you so much for taking the time to attend this webinar. I hope you got a lot of very good, valuable information about how you can build and have an exceptional business credit profile and business credit scores.